Out of all the old brand name companies, the little young boy Starlink is the one that has launched the most satellites into orbit to date. With over 30 successful missions and more than 1,700 active satellites, Elon Musk hopes for more. SpaceX is preparing to manufacture its next-generation Gen 2 Starlink satellites as the company hopes to build this so-called mega-constellation network with over 42,000 futuristic satellites. This project has so far launched two main versions, 0.9 and 1.0 Starlink satellites deployed into low Earth orbit. But for the first time, the company launched the first constellations of its brand new version 1.5, equipped with laser communications in September, after a pause of three months to add this hardware feature in the spacecraft. There have been more confirmed upgrades and changes coming soon to Starlink. In today's video, we will discuss the upcoming versions of Starlink 1.5, 2.0, their features, and improvements. To understand these new improvements, let's take a brief history of the old versions. Despite the company's young age, it has produced more than one version of its satellites. The beginning was in 2018 when the company launched its Microsat-A and Microsat-B satellites under the name Titan. This version is the so-called Starlink 0.1 and was launched using the Falcon 9 rocket, and it was piggybacked with Spain's Paz spy satellite. The rocket raised the Titan satellite to over 500 kilometers orbit above the Earth. Then it made contact with three ground stations in Washington and California, with an estimated speed of just a few megabits per second. But regardless of the low numbers, this version has successfully completed its mission, as the company released it as a short introductory test. After almost one year of orbiting in low Earth orbit, the team decided to deorbit this version in preparation for a new one. At this point, the team has gained the necessary skills to deal with the upcoming versions. Indeed, Musk and his team continued developing on the next version, 0.9. In May 2019, SpaceX launched 60 Starlink satellites of version 0.9. This time was totally different than the first time. The satellite now has more features than even normal satellites, knowing that this is also still a beta version. The 0.9 version launched with foldable flat panels that were designed specifically to add dozens of satellites in one launch. It also has Hall effect thrusters using Krypton, giving it the ability to reposition itself on orbit, maintain its altitude, and for deorbiting. It has a star tracker navigation system for precision pointing. It also has the ability to avoid collision with debris autonomously using data from the Department of Defense. And in total, the 60 satellites roughly held about 300 gigabits per second in bandwidth, or about 3 or 4 gigabits per satellite. After testing this version, the company has deorbited all 60 satellites in October 2020 in order to get ready for the operational version. The 0.9 version was real proof that the company is capable of developing a satellite that is just a few steps away from changing the global internet. After this success, SpaceX made a huge number of launches, launching 28 unique Starlink missions to build its first operational Constellation Starlink satellites version 1.0. In each mission, the Falcon rocket was carrying 60 folded satellites stacked on each other in the payload area. The company has broken many records in this period of continuous launches to deploy over 1,700 satellites in the low Earth orbit in less than two years. Each launch went as planned, leaving the satellites operational with their modern design and new upgrades. This version can take advantage of the new components that are 100% demisable, which will allow them to quickly burn up in Earth's atmosphere at the end of their service. More importantly, these upgraded versions broadcast in both the KA and KU bands. These frequency spectrums were necessary to enable use for high-throughput satellite internet. Also partially overlaps with frequencies used by 5G, which will make Starlink much more accessible for devices to use and access by using the satellite dish. These dishes went out to specific beta testers in late 2020, with a $499 price tag and a $99 monthly fee. Beta users could receive satellite internet with a download speed of about 100 megabits per second and a latency of 30 milliseconds. This is really astounding, but it is nothing compared to version 2.0. One of the most important features that characterize the new version of the inter-satellite communication is the adding of lasers to the satellites. 
This upgrade will be a real game changer for the company and the global internet. Why? The company won't need to use ground stations anymore. Instead, they want satellites to send data between them without the need for a ground station. This is very important. Some areas are not qualified to have ground stations. Additionally, laser links take only a few seconds to lock on between satellites and transmit data at theoretical hundreds of gigabits per second. This will be the first time for any company or even country to build a constellation with this technology. So if this is just the only feature that the new version satellite will have, it will be great, as it will bring more benefits. Elon Musk said that the new version will be significantly more capable with launches in 2022. SpaceX launched the first batch of 10 satellites in September for the new Starlink version 1.5 with lasers for inner satellite communication. The new version 2.0 is expected to have E-band frequency at about 60 to 90 gigahertz, upward of 30,000 additional satellites, and global coverage through laser links. Actually, there are a lot of underrated but significant benefits coming with version 2.0. And with thousands of satellites to be launched, there will be a huge difference in the future of internet satellites. Let us know in the comments, what do you think about Starlink version 2.0? And what will it bring to the future satellite internet? Thanks for watching.